Good evening. Jason Anthony chronicles his closeted adventures in his debut book, Amsterdam Angel. An actor known for his portrayals of gay people in history gets his own star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. A new LGBT space opens in Santa Clara County. The San Francisco Lesbian Gay Freedom Band marches in the annual Chinese New Year Parade. And why are drag queens gathered at a cemetery on an early Sunday morning? On this April 2013 edition of Outlook Video. Welcome to the April 2013 edition of Outlook Video, your nationally recognized award-winning news magazine for LGBT communities. I'm Christine Hancock. Hello everyone, I'm Jay Raley. Just two more months and it will be Pride Month in San Francisco. Can you believe it? I know, time flies. I can't wait already. This month, Jason Anthony talks about the trials and tribulations of his coming out experiences in his first book, Amsterdam Angel. Jay Raley here interviews Jason, who gives a remarkably honest account of growing up in a conservative Catholic family and coming into his own in a modern world full of alcohol, drugs, and anonymous sex. I heard that he flew out from New York just to be here with us. It's uh, hmm. it's an advantage being a flight attendant. Oh, yeah, so one of the perks. Yeah, one of the hmm. perks. So also this month we go down to Hollywood, <laughs> where actor James Franco, known for his portrayals of gay people in history, gets his own star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Later in the program, Ajay Franciscus visits the new LGBT youth space that opened on First Street in San Jose. The center is dedicated to lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, questioning, and ally youth and young adult ages 13 through 25 living in Santa Clara County. More on that later in the program. The annual Chinese New Year Parade in San Francisco is one of the oldest in the country. Every year, the San Francisco Chinese Chamber of Commerce, the organizer, invites many groups to be in the parade that goes along a 13-block route. The San Francisco Lesbian Gay Freedom Band is one of those groups, and we have coverage from the festivities later in the half hour. And without missing a beat, the San Francisco Lesbian Gay Freedom Band heads down to Coma the following morning for the Imperial Court of San Francisco's annual pilgrimage to the gravesite of Emperor Norton. More details from Raymond Donald Hong later in the program. But first, author Jason Anthony on his book, Amsterdam Angel. I'm Adam Pally, and you're watching Outlook Video. Brothers Jason and Joe grow up in Grand Rapids, Michigan, with a magical backyard of safety, comfort, and love. But when Joe is killed in a car accident just before Jason graduates from college, his idyllic world suddenly crumbles around him. As Jason and his family rely on their Catholic faith to help them through the unfathomable loss, no one has any idea that for years, Jason has been harboring a secret. He is gay. With us in the studio now is Jason Anthony to talk about his book, Amsterdam Angel. Jason, thanks for coming all the way from New York to be with us tonight. My pleasure, thank you for having me. Jason, what was the motivation behind uh, writing the book? In college, I had a dream I wanted to write a book. And at 19, I had nothing, no life experience, nothing to write a book about. And when my brother died and I started traveling, using that as my therapy, I suddenly was starting to have material to write about. Now, did you study writing in college to, to do this? I started as a journalism major, and in my third year, I switched to advertising. Uh, journalism was a little bit too fact-based for me. I needed something more creative, and so I discovered um, advertising and, and courses that were more creative and, and took a creative writing course from there, and that's where I had my teacher that was that one teacher that inspired me and, and her passion teacher, for right. for you know for teaching and, and writing and ignited it in me your your um the book was a real easy read for me i'm catholic i grew up catholic and and so i could totally relate to a lot of the experiences you had mm -hmm. especially like the very beginning testing the waters of, of being gay can you tell me a little bit about that in my growing up i didn't have any role models? There, there wasn't anything on TV. Come on, you're so much younger than me. There was plenty well, of role models. We braved the there, trail. There were, for there you. were few. There were few. Um, but it wasn't anything where I, where I understood that it existed. Well, that's that's um, something that that is remarkable to me. In that it seems like no matter 
even after all this time, we still struggle with, with coming out and, right. and, and the difficulties, especially in a, in a Catholic upbringing. Right. Well, I think living in New York or California, anywhere, big cities, that's been out there. People think it's more common, but you, you find in middle America that you know, people still struggle with it quite a bit. I felt for you and your brother when you had a loss and everything because I lost my own father. But I also related about the sexual. Again, I'm coming back to that because it was very uh, moving in terms of the, the fear mm -hmm. and then the, the anxiety, the anticipation, the, the curiousness. Can you tell me a little bit about that? I've loved traveling. In addition to writing, traveling was also a passion of mine. So, so that kind of the adds, exploration right. of, of discovery and, and, and that time period, I, I wanted to show the, the pure um, excitement that that time period can be, whether you're exploring the world or exploring yourself or exploring your sexuality, just that sense of exploration and I'm, how you know it can be very, it's heavy subjects and dealing with heavy matter, but there is that purity and essence of exploration. I'm glad you're sober here tonight because it seems like every other chapter you were drunk or smoking a joint or something. Well, it, it, that's, that's you know, I, I think society and religion, it, 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 it kind of drives people to, to do that, to feel comfortable, to, to be able to be themselves. And I would hope that people who, who read it or could relate to it would, would not want their son or or nephew or, or cousin or friend or to go through that yeah. or to, to develop what can turn into addictive habits. Right. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's too slippery of a slope, I think, um, to, to experience. And, and if, 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 if people, although I'm very bluntly revealing with, with some of the information, I, I hope that people would say, God, I hope um, I wouldn't want someone that I know or I love to care about to go through that. It was very refreshing, though, to see the, the true, the real, and, and you know, uh, the, the way you wanted, you wanted to, to, to say it, you know, and it was just refreshing. Right. And you're doing book signings right now, right? I am doing book signings. And, um, and I understand you're going to be in San Francisco. I will be in San Francisco on the 20th of April. Um, the venue is yet to be determined, but uh, you can find information on my website. Okay, and you've done this for uh, other charities I've, as well. We've, we started in New York back in December, and that's, that's when our launch was. Jason, and I'm so excited. And you know, there's so much more that we can cover, and I'm looking forward to it in your next book. The book is Amsterdam Angel by first-time author Jason Anthony. For information, you can go to AmsterdamAngel.com on the internet. Jason, thanks so much, and I look forward to your next installment. Thank you for having me. Coming up next, James Franco receives a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. You're watching Outlook Video.